Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the Knightsman channel! What we have today is the Witcher trailer 3. Now I'm looking down below and I see that it's 8 minutes long, so we've got 8 glorious minutes um, of uh, footage for the new TV series with Henry Cavill, um, sci-fi series. Um, and I've done true trailers before and I absolutely love the series. And I love the game, so I'm a big fan and I cannot wait to see what we've got in store. As I said, I want to see these layers built on top uh, because I know that this is coming around the corner before Christmas and I'll be watching it, so I can't wait. So let's do a deep dive into this trailer, have a few reactions. We're going to be splitting up a little bit, uh, breaking down, I guess, certain sections of the video. And yeah, pretty much just going hard. So uh, let's go, uh, let's go. Tell me, Witcher. You don't believe in destiny. Or the lesser evil. Look at him, he looks granty! What do you believe in? Geralt! What you got? Of Rivia! White hair. Yes. Big old loner. Two very, very scary looking swords. I know who you are. A Witcher is... A mutant. There and he is. In particular, is Monster Hunter. The Butcher of Blaviken! You are almost universally hated yes. by every species on the continent. He knows his it's stuff. Likely you're going to have a cheery personality. But Geralt himself, despite the stony exterior, yes. is actually quite good. Oh, been very yeah, capable yes. of doing bad things. Geralt isn't simply a white knight. He isn't simply a harsh monster. Yes. He's an incredible blend of the two. The rumors about witches are that they don't have emotions. You take no prisoners. So I hear. And that is perpetuated by them. Sometimes there's monsters. Sometimes there's money. Rarely both. Oh. When they're created, they undergo alchemical trials, which is a combination of elixirs and magic, which right. have very aggressive effects on their bodies. This allows them to take various potions. These potions enhance them in various and different ways. The signs the witches cast, they are basic magic, but very, very effective. You often see this very dry humor come through, which is one of the more charming aspects of girls. Now, I'm loving so far that he's like commentating uh, through the video and kind of letting everyone know what's going on. I think that's a good little little trick because, oh, I believe this TV show is going to be mean. But we'll see. We'll keep deep diving into this. Um, yeah, let's go. Smell of death and destiny. Oh. It's onion. Right, yeah. Destiny is one of the major themes, which is a force which is controlling him and indeed the world around him. Nice. Look at that Geralt environment. Aggravates Beautiful. Destiny. He doesn't believe in it. But it turns out there may be a little more to it. Find her. But Geralt's greatest strength is his capacity to still love despite having retreated incredibly hard. Yes, boy! He, says, he still believes in the goodness of people. And you couple that with oh. incredible sword skills, Damn. And agility and endurance, then you have an interesting character. Yes! I think that was one trailer down. Um, there's more, surely. Eight minutes. December 20th, round the corner. All right, here we go. Another one. Do you know how many people wouldn't blink if you died? Oh. You lie. You keep secrets. You succumb to emotion. To weakness. Damn. Do you actually have what it takes? Yennefer! Oh. Yennefer is in a constant battle with herself. She had a really tragic childhood. A place of frustration, rage, confusion. She was born with a deformed spine and jaw abnormality. Damn! And because of that, her father resented her a lot. How much for this beast? 
six. Four. So, four marks. That moment oh. sets up the whole of Yennefer's journey. Damn. Just because you are conduits of chaos does not mean that you are capable of magic. That then became her life. Damn! Who's next? However, she is never satisfied, always striving for something else. She owns her sexuality and uses it to manipulate people and get what she wants. Yennefer of Vengerberg. My world is cruel. You enter, you survive, you die. She presents a certain version of herself, someone who's direct and in control, dangerous. The arc that she goes through is an incredible challenge. No! She longs for this connection, but... I'm not gonna lie, I am blown away. I think this TV show is gonna be right up there next to um, the new Star Wars TV series that has come out. Uh, but let's carry on until the end where I can give my final thoughts. That fear, that insecurity feeds this chaos, and this magic that makes her incredibly powerful. She's epic. What more do you want? Everything. Oh. The Witcher. A game very well done with how they've split it into three. I guess we're going to get another character. But Yennefer, again, very strong character. And, um, man, I'm absolutely blown away. I'm speechless. As you can tell, I'm a little bit quiet throughout this video. But I think they're doing it really well. And we're going to touch on this at the end. So let's carry on to the third and final character, hopefully. Who we got? Oh, what's her name? <sighs> Cirilla. Here is your first lesson. As in life, it is impossible always to be fully prepared for battle. Keep your sword close and keep moving. There's something special about this girl. She's very loyal to the people that she loves. She's built a heart from it, but just hasn't had any experience in the real world. All she's known was a sheltered life as a princess and oh. this very secure network of people looking after her. At least you didn't shit your cacks. She's very relentless, very stubborn, and she's also very naive. I think she just wants to make sure that she doesn't get trapped in that box. Would you honor me with the dance? Martin. She'd love to. The typical <laughs> conforming love to. life of a princess. She wants to kind of break free from that. But she suddenly gets dropped in a very brutal world. Oh. People are after her. It does become something very scary. Damn, look at that damage. Number two. Know when it's time to stop moving. She loses everybody she's known within one night. A huge theme in The Witcher is the loss of family and the search for family. Yeah. Find Geralt of Rivia. He is your destiny. If that's Geralt the last words Rivia. that her grandmother have said to her, it means a great deal. And I think that's what keeps her determined to continue on. That's all she's got left to cling on to. It does wow, mean a lot to her, that. but she doesn't quite know yet what it means. Being a princess doesn't matter anymore. She just doesn't know where to begin. Be careful, child. This place isn't safe if you're alone. And it's the same as every other place. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. That trailer for The Witcher trailer number three just blew me away. Um, now, I think I, I you know, I, I like Yennefer. Um, I like Geralt. Um, I think I'm more attached to those two than um, the last one, uh, The Princess. But, you know what? I believe that this series, and yes, I'm going to say it, 
can better Game of Thrones. I, I you know, all the books are out there, and I've I've read a couple. I uh, read the few, first two, and I ha- have the rest of them on Kindle, which I need to make my way through. Um, I played all the games now. I know the games um, really has nothing to do with this series, but um, it's it's what drawn me to all these characters anyway. So you know, I've got some attachment to them. Um, but I believe this series is going to absolutely kill it at the like in the box office awards stuff like that i mean all everything that i've seen through the trailers look absolutely amazing and stunning and i think they've done the story they've done you know everything in that trailer just looked absolutely beautiful um so i don't think there's ever going to be a point where you're like ah yeah that's fake um because it just looks so real and i'm i'm in awe um oh I'm going to have to do it. I'm giving this trailer a 9.5 out of 10 for the Knightsman score. So close to that 10. Um, you know, if, if they had probably one more character in there, um, you, know, you know, I don't know. If they had a little bit of monsters, maybe I would have bumped it up to a 10. But a 9.5 out of 10 is huge. And I'm a huge fan. And I'm, I'm absolutely, I love it. Um, and I can't wait to watch all of them um, on Netflix, which is going to be amazing. Um, but I'm I'm such a big fan of um, most of the uh, most of these characters in this series. Um, I think they've, they're going to do really well. Uh, but what they need to do in this first season is just hit it out of the park, out of the ballpark, um, so that I guess those um, people that aren't attached to these characters or this show. Um, they build something in that first series, which I think they can do, and I think it's going to be right up there with, for the number one um, TV series um, of the end of 2019 going into the 2020, um, because I've got high hopes for The Witcher, 9.5 out of 10 is a huge score for me, um, but I absolutely loved it, um, I'm, I'm in awe, and I head off. To the Witcher, because I think it's going to create a universe. Well, the universe is already out there, anyway. Um, but it's going to create it on the on on the TV screen, which I think is going to do absolutely well. Um, it's sorely needed. I need something to fulfill that gap from finishing Game of Thrones and and you know getting a little bit bored with The Walking Dead. Um, but I think this is it, and I think. You know, I mean, I'm watching Star Wars at the moment, and I'm absolutely loving that as well. That's quite up there. Uh, but I think this is going to sit right beside that, to be honest, in my opinion. Um, and I can't wait. What was it, December the 20th? Oh, I'm going to be streaming this right before Christmas, especially with a perfect time with my break as well, you know, a bit of time off. Um, so Henry Cavill, I think, is a perfect fit um, for Geralt, and I think he's going to push this franchise right up there and um, head off to the man um, amazing absolutely amazing and I think that's I've said enough um, but once I watch it I'm going to do a review on it um, we'll see maybe after a couple of episodes or the first episode or if, it, or if the whole season comes out I'll bang that whole season and do a review anyway um, so stay tuned for that if you're not a Knightsman yet you know what to do hit that subscribe button hopefully you enjoyed these um, trailers that I've been doing um, and comment down below uh, if you want to see anything else or if you enjoyed this trailer or if you're a Witcher um, fan hit the bell notification so you can uh, it will let you know when all the trailers that I put out um, pop on the screen and you can uh, hopefully watch it and enjoy it because that's what I'm all about and yeah hit a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video but thank you very much for watching it if you watched it all the way through if you're not a knightsman that is us join the family and yeah we're getting that silver play button sooner rather than later fingers crossed um but yeah have a great week wherever you are in this big wide world and that is knightsman out cha ching <laughs>